So firstly, I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows and for that I use the Anastasia Pomade um, this is in shade Ebony so this is perfect for people who have kind of darker, uh, even black eyebrows so I like to use Spoolie in just to brush through my eyebrows and then I just start in the centre area and as I go along I just keep building up the product And then once the product's on the eyebrow, I just like to brush through just so it all spreads out evenly. So after that, I like to go in with um, I like to go in with concealer just to clean it up. So for that, I'm going to take the Morphe M170-6. I'm going to take the Fit Me Concealer. This is in shade 10. I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender once that's all blended into your eyelids you have to set it so I just take this is a real technique setting brush and I'm going to take the RS R, uh, RS NA no color powder so just pat emotions first of all and then you can swipe So going in with my Z palette here, these are all makeup geek eyeshadows. So first I'm going to <laughs> So first I'm going in with this shade here and this is Peach Smoothie. So I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So I'm just going to start in the crease and go back and forth. So the next shade I'm going in with, yeah, this is Chickadee. So we're going to go in with the shade Morocco. So the next shade I'm going to be taking for my Z palette is this shade here. And this is um, shade Psychic. So I'm going to be taking that with a smaller brush and this is the MAC the 221. So what I want to do with this, I want to keep it underneath the crease so you have those other shades still showing through. And then on this MAC 217 brush, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay, um, Urban Decay Naked Al Ultimate, ba Ultimate Basics palette. So I'm going to be going in with this shade here, this is called Lethal. So what you're going to do, you're going to push the product into the eyelid. As you can see, by pushing it in, it just gives you a lot more intensity, intensity, intense, intensity. Just So then, just to blend it all out, I'm going to take the Sigma Blending Brush again. So moving on to liner, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Um, and as you can see, the, the ring is not perfect. So all I do is I just take a makeup wipe and I just use it underneath my nail. And I just drag it up. So now I'm going to apply some mascara before I apply my false lashes. So this is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara and this is just some black. So moving on to lashes, so I've already put a lash glue on it. So moving on to face now, so I'm going to go back, after doing my foundation, powders, etc, I'll go back in and do my eyeliner underneath. But first of all, I like to um, 
putting the skin by moisturising it. So I'm just going to take the Ordinary, this is the Natural Moisturising Factors. So then I like to go with a primer on top of that. So for primer, I'm going to take, this is by the same brand, Ordinary. This is their High Spreadability Fluid Primer. Let's put some on my cheek and forehead. Um, now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I have uh, quite large pores on my cheek area. So I just use the Professional by Benefit. So I just push it into my skin. So for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing these two. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid NC35 and the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in 220. So I'm just going to mix these together. And because those are two matte foundations, I like to go in with the, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. So this just makes the consistency, consistency, the consistency, consistency. This just makes the consistency. <laughs> and then just get a beauty blender and just mix it all together. So moving on to concealer, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in shade Light Medium. And then just back into the Beauty Blender. So now going in with my setting powder to set my concealer. I'm going to be taking the Air Spun. This is the loose face powder and this is translucent. And just go back in with my Real Techniques setting brush and you just need to test them out. So once that's set, I like to go in with a liquid highlighter. So for that, I like to take the Eliminating Drops by a company called Iconic London. So I just like to give that shake. So this is a highlighter from Topshop, the Sun Warrior one. So to set my face now, I like to go in with my, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. So I'm taking the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. So as you can see, the bronzer has came too far down. So I'm just going to bake that. So the same, so I'm just going to be taking the air spun loose powder again. So just start at the top of the ear and just halfway. So I'm just going to... So while that's baking, I'm just going to take this eyeliner. This is from, I think it's Collection. It used to be called Collection 2000, but now it's called Collection. So I just like to warm the product on my hand first. And just in your waterline. Okay, so I'm just going to take away the baking. So I just take a sipping brush. Moving on to nose contouring. I like to take the Sigma E45. So with that I just take the same bronzer that I used for my face. Just so it's matching. So I'm just focusing the product in this section here. The narrow that is, the narrow your nose is going to look. And just the tip of your nose as well. And to blend those harsh lines, I'm just going back into my setting brush because it still has powder on it. And obviously highlight the centre of the nose, that also makes it look thinner. Just 
Let me keep it full. And then just come back with my stuffing brush just to blend it all together. And then for blush, I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to take these two colours here. So I'll just mix them together. And then you smile. And just back in with my powder brush and then just blend it. So I'm just going to um, spray my face with some of the Mario Badescu um, spray just because I'm looking a bit powdery just now. And then to set my brows in place, I use the Anastasia. This is the brow gel in clear. So going with my Z palette again. For underneath my eyes, I'm going to just take the same colour. So I'm going to take Psychic. So I'm going to move on to my lips. My favourite lip liner I like to use all the time is by MAC and this is Strip Down. I'm also going to be taking this lip liner by Collection and this is shade Cappuccino. Now for lip colour I'm going to be taking a few different shades to like doing that. So firstly I'm going to take the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX and this is in the shade Abu Dhabi. So while that's drying I'm just going to go back in with my mascara and just do my bottom lashes. So once the mascara is done and um, my lips have dried, so I'm going to go in with another colour now. Um, this is by Kelly Cosmetics and this is the shade Exposed. And then with my finger again. So I'm going to highlight the inner corners and under my brow. This is the highlight. I'm going to take the Sun Warrior one. And to finish this look off, I'm just going to use the Jared Cosmetics Setting Spray in Coconut. I'm going to go back in the Beauty Blender and I'm just going to push the product all on my skin. Nice hair on your face. Nice. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my first YouTube video. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.